Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. It's The In Show, Australia's only show dedicated to innovation from Adelaide, Australia and across the globe. Hi, it's David Grice and Troy Sincock and we talk all about innovation on The In Show and uh, discuss the incredible ideas that inspiring people are coming up with all around the world. Indeed, and just we never it never ceases to amaze me how much stuff is going on and where it's going on. It's just, just incredible. And often the stuff you know we hear about has been years in the making. So we, you know we have the opportunity to discuss with people from the ground level, from the moment they have the idea, and understand what it actually takes to get some of these innovations up. Yeah, and remembering we we spoke to the guys from Voxon Photonics that started as a an idea where you know over a couple of beers they wanted to do holographic images, and and now you know I think it's at ten or twelve years later. They're now doing stuff for Hollywood. That really gave me hope because didn't they do that in their back shed? They did, yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, it was a regular Thursday night. They used to get together and have a few beers and look at what happened. (laughs) Well, let's find out what's happening around the globe with Claire with more in news, including a story about the moon getting its own mobile phone network. What else have you got for us, Claire? Hi, guys. This week I'll be talking about how Tesla is using its technology to cool down classrooms in Hawaii. But first, scientists in the United States have found a new way of protecting ourselves against skin cancer. They've discovered that a strain of a very common skin condition called Staphylococcus epidermidis contains bacteria that can protect against the sun's ultraviolet light. The researchers are optimistic it could be used to develop new preventative skin cancer treatments. Overall, the findings highlight the importance of using internal and external microbes, otherwise known as bacteria, as a means of preventing certain diseases from manifesting. This discovery was a surprise, as the scientists were actually studying whether the staph strain could be used to destroy bad bacteria that causes strep throat. They've already tested it on mice and the results have been quite successful. They injected the strain into mice with tumours and found that the cancerous lumps became 60% smaller than those in mice that hadn't been treated. They're now looking forward to starting clinical trials on humans. After successfully building the world's biggest lithium-ion battery in South Australia, Tesla is now providing cheap energy solutions to schools in Hawaii that desperately need it. In the tropical state of the United States, temperatures are consistently high. This makes learning difficult because most schools don't have air conditioners. Why? Hawaii has extremely high energy prices and not enough money to install and run AC in over 2,000 classrooms. So Tesla have partnered with the Hawaii State Department of Education to make sure students aren't put off getting an education. They've provided schools with solar panels to generate energy and power walls to store it. This means they have access to cheap green energy that doesn't increase in price. Under the initiative, schools have also received ceiling fans, heat reflective paint jobs on roofs, extra shade and better ventilation systems that are used at night. Plus, the students are now able to learn more in class about environmentally friendly energy sources and how green energy production works. Almost 1,200 classrooms have received assistance already. In a world first, or should I say Milky Way Galaxy first, the Moon is set to receive its own mobile phone network. Major corporations Vodafone, Nokia and Aldi have partnered with a company called PT Scientists to embark on the first ever privately funded mission to the Moon. They're hoping to install a functioning and stable mobile phone network. You're probably wondering, why does the Moon need its own mobile phone network? Well, it would mean that for the first time ever, live high-definition videos could be streamed straight to planet Earth. Plus, it would improve communication and data transfer systems using Audi's rovers and other space technologies. Vodafone has nominated Nokia to develop the actual network, which is expected to be a device that weighs about the same as a cup of coffee. It's going to be a 4G network instead of a 5G one because the newest network is still undergoing testing, so it's not reliable enough to be installed on the moon. The technology will be blasted into space on SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in 2019 from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Florida. And that's what's in news this week. Thanks, Claire. Well, David, it seems that they're effectively putting the infrastructure on the moon to have in place before we actually end up living there. Yeah, I know. I mean, imagine getting your first phone call from someone on the moon. I mean, it's mind boggling to think that, you know, there'll be technology, you know, delivering all these incredible pictures to us. You know, something that was, you know, seemed impossible, which is this, this dot that you'd see in the sky. And now that we're that close to it, while we might not be physically living there, 
the devices that we're putting in place are living on the moon. I, st- I still have one burning question about it, though. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> It's David Grice and Troy Sincock on the In Show podcast and tomorrow have we got something for you. Look, it was a new experience for us. It certainly was and uh, for once I I could actually sit and look at somebody else and not you (laughs) while we're recording this. Gets pretty boring after a while, doesn't it? (laughs) Well, we went to the Adelaide Podcast Festival and did the In Show in front of a live audience upstairs at the Elephant in Adelaide, South Australia. You're going to find out what went down when we did that and caught up with Leanne Isaacson, Australia's most uh, connected LinkedIn woman. Yeah, we heard some new stories from her as well so uh, it was just so fantastic and the day that we did that was the day she settled on her farm that's right so from that perspective it was kind of a really emotional day for her so for her to come in and actually you know deliver what she did on the night was just sensational you get to hear all about it on the next in show podcast the in show news subscribe to the in show podcast on itunes a dave and the beanstalk production Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.